Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of Pokemon Scarlet. Okay, so it has been a little bit over the weekend and I've been busy with this game and I kind of went a little bit overboard. I went to on to explore more of the map, the one that we already covered, and I caught two boxes, over, over a little two boxes full of uh, new Pokemon. This, suffice to say, our Pokedex is progressing rather nicely. I got some rare Pokemon like Larvitar and Gibble, some new Pokemon as well. Uh, a lot of Eevee because there ha uh, there was a uh, Terror Raid battle event for Eevee. Uh, it will spawn Eevee with all kinds of Rathalyze type. Uh, I think I got four and I think like five or six, I don't remember. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them yet. Uh, so yeah, the only thing interesting... Oh, I got two kinds of Basculin. I got male and female Salanded. I got everything. I think I caught everything that I can. The rest is either version exclusive or uh, we're not, it's on the other side of the map that we haven't explored yet. And because of that, my Pokemon is kind of a little bit over the level. Uh, Red Velvet especially, because I kind of try, uh, what was it called? Like a horde, uh, there was a horde of Capsacket. So I used Red Velvet in hoping to find a shiny Capsacket. I didn't, but then I forgot that this game actually has autosave. So now my red velvet is 29, so we're gonna put him in a box for a while, because uh, Pokemon's kind of easy, right? So we don't want to make it even more easy with having an overleveled team. So also I noticed that uh, our neck muffin and our mochis thing is ready to evolve respectively. So uh, Nackley evolved at 24. I think it evolved at 25, but I kind of want to show it in the video, so I kind of canceled the revolution. Hopefully, I didn't miss any important moves, but I already made them almost uh, level up, so we shall be able to see them evolve in this episode. And I also add one member to the team, Watro, another new bird Pokemon. I feel like there's a lot of bird Pokemon uh, in this generation. Hopefully, this one evolves. I think it is. It's kind of reminds me of a Talo. So it's a it's electric flying type, Watchroll, and basically uh, it's like a wind turbine. It uses the wind to generate electricity. It even has the ability of wind power. When it's hit with a wind move, it will boost its next electric type. Pretty, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. I name it uh, a Nestle. Uh, because in the Violet uh, version of the Pokedex, it is said that the nest of Watro was a delicacy. And that kind of reminds me of a bird nest soup that is uh, famous in Asia, at least, I think. At the Southeast Asia is Asia. So yeah, I name it a Nestle. <laughs> I'm coming right to that. So, and since she is our lowest key member yet, she's gonna lead the charge with the almost evolved one uh, here. Well, I don't know if Sugar Cookie is going to evolve, but I feel like most of the Pokemon evolve at 25. So I kind of stopped there. The one that's a little bit over level are those that I know not going to evolve. Oh yeah, I also know, know that uh, Capsicate and Tadbob evolve with Evolution Stone. But we're not going to evolve them just yet until later, I think. So I got some Evolution Stone from the EV Terra Raid battle, so that's how I know. But you also can get uh, Evolution Stone pretty early if you go to the Pokedex. And you see that in the lower left corner, there's an achievement thing. So when you catch like a certain milestone, it gives you Evolution Stone like this one. The last I got is a Dust Stone, but the early one, if you caught like 20, 50, they give you uh, the early Evolution Stone, which is Thunder, Water, Fire. So you can get it pretty easy, but yeah. 
So our plan is today is for sure we're gonna head here. Uh, hopefully there is no more detour. We're gonna set the checkpoint there first. There shouldn't be any new Pokemon that we haven't caught, but we'll just we'll see. Oh, we fought four. Okay. Oh, get away! Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna fight wild Pokemon, especially the one we already caught. I don't want it. Wait, are we in the right place? Oh God. Okay, the map's kind of confusing. Ooh, I hear. Gibigo, where are you, Gibigo? Likes to be on the bridge, I think. Oh, there he is. That's why I already fought you. Okay, I'm kind of in the wrong way. So the map only kind of points you to a direction, but doesn't give you like the map how to get there because yeah if you see here the path is actually leading me further away from the point but that's because we kind of have to cross the river so it's kind of uh, it's kind of confusing you have to be careful to get lost okay. all right I want to get to the peak, but I cannot even get close. You are challenged by Enrique to study. <laughs> Why is there all people here? Pinko. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna use Pluck. What level are you, Pinko? Did they not tell you? Oh, 15. See, we are kind of over level. But I think the Dark Crew member is a little bit over 20, so we're not that over level. But Red Velvet is for sure over level because uh, the electric type gym is in the late 20s, but not 30. Ooh, Nick Muffin's gonna evolve soon. You're even wilder than the rolling boulders. Cascaraba. Wait, are you a trainer? Yes. I taught my Pokemon all sort of strong moves using TMs, you know. Let's see it. Let's see it, lady. Wait, I didn't catch your name. Oh, Candina the model. Oh, Oin Cologne, the female one. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, alright. All right. Go Mochisutin. It's kind of hard to pronounce, isn't it? Mochisutin. I think I kind of have to change it. Good. Who units then headbutt? Wow, you're kind of sturdy, huh? Oh. Wow, wow, wow. So it knows... Okay. 
Are you gonna get gooey? Wow, well done. Ooh, yes. Muppy wants to learn the move Recover. Recover. Do I need to? Maybe not now. Look sure. Look sure. Have our margarine handle this one. You know Fire Fang? Oh, hell no. Grassy terrain. Wow, this trainer is really good. Oh, you restore your HP as well. Muffin, I think this is your time. Wow! Okay, one shot. I'm the thing. That's gonna hurt me. to make even stronger TM. Oh, that's right. Your luck show learns a lot of move. Okay, it's time to evolve. Time to evolve. Nick Muffin is evolving. Oh, look at that. Knock knuckle stack. It's like a Minecraft type thing. Uh, the, this Pokemon dry cures its prey by spraying salt over them. The curing process deals with the water in the prey's body. That's kind of dark. <laughs> Necklace stack. Ooh, so will you learn? Uh, will you evolve again? Salt cure. The user salt cures the target, inflicting damage every turn. Steel and water types are more strongly effective. Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay, if I ask for advice, mud shot. I kinda need mud shot though. Oh, it's because mud shot is okay. That's fair, I guess. Okay, fine. Oh yes, what you think? Old label. Oh, Inkatuff. 
This Pokemon will attack groups of Ponyard and Bisharp, gathering metal from them in order to create a large and sturdy hammer. Oh my god, Margarine is also deserve. Deserve, honestly, deserve. Triple evolution, let's go. Oh, look at that, your Margarine evolved to Dollop. Dollop share its tasty, fresh, scented oil with others. This spe species has coexisted with humans since times long gone. Oh, it seems like you're gonna have another evolution. Nice, 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 nice. And that's it. <laughs> Alright, thank you, lady. Games are great because you can teach Pokemon moves they couldn't learn otherwise. Oh my... Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Mouse hole? Cheek pouch to Pokemon HP is restored when it eats any berry in addition to the berry's usual effect. Wait, what? when did she evolve the mouse hole? Quadruple evolution? But there's no evolution scene. Oh, you got more powerful, that's for sure. You also get slightly more powerful. You got even more powerful. Early birth, you still have early birth. You still have own tempo, which is fine. And you still have purifying salt, which is good. Yeah, we're gonna have to return here and heal. Oh, we gonna have- wait. Do they have the Pokedex entry? I know that they evolve. But in my Violet uh, playthrough, they, they do have evolution animation. Mouse hold the family Pokemon. Family of four? Wait, is there another another uh in another number of family? The two little ones just appear one day. The group might be a family of related Pokemon, but nobody knows for sure. Oh, that's precious. Okay, now that you evolve, uh, let's have some changes here. Oh, actually. I just thought of a good name for Mochisute. Instead of Mochisute, I'm gonna name you Pound Cake. Because she'd be pounding all the enemies. Yeah. Yeah, you're Pound Cake now. That's easier on the on the tongue. Okay, uh, we're gonna go through 26. You're a little bit over level. 27. It's our group of 27, so 26 is here. Oh yeah, I also have Flat Chinder, which I got in the Tur- oh, yeah, I don't remember Tur rate or- But he has a Fire Translation, which I thought was pretty cool, but I guess I still couldn't find a good food pun for him. So it's still gonna- uh, This is our backup. Our backup. Okay, the rest is still 25, but I might want to train. Okay, next one, you're gonna have to take a back feed for now. Okay, now that you have cheek pouch sugar cookies, let me give you a berry. Where are the berries? Okay, we have a lot of chesto berry, or even more pecha berry. Make sure we have we are going to the right way. Yeah, I think we're going to the right way. By golly, we have to take the dark crew. Oh yeah, I, I could have just 
goes great because we are going to another Pokemon spot. My bad. And we could have just healed here. Double my bad. Have I been to here? I think I have. I guess, uh, I guess I could always check later. It's fine. No trainer on site. Getting to interact with the locals wherever you go is one of the best parts of traveling. Backpacker Mateo. So backpacker I could understand, but why are models EV? Oh, I have a lot of EVs actually. Yeah, paralyzed. It kind of looks like a Taylor, huh? The, the yeah, I guess the deck said it's a sea petrel, which is a different kind of bird, but maybe they are related. See the trail and uh, swallow. Because usually the one that we eat the nest is our swallow tail. Wow, you're quite the character. Uh, let me check what this is. If it's any of our, the one we use, we might want to use it. I uh, hope it. I'll get it later. There's an item there, but I'm worried that it will take a while. Maybe not. Maybe not. Luxury ball. Super potion. Oh, there's another trainer. Is there a double battle in this game, I wonder? I'm trying to find a whittle Pokemon carrying a coin. Oh, I found a lot of those, kid. Oh, that means you do you use Gimme Gold? No, you use Teddy Ursa. Go, Anestle. Oh wow. Oh wow, quick attack, quick attack. Roost. <laughs> I could use a roost right now. Uh, I like uproar though. Better than quick attack, but quick attack kind of useful sometimes. Tink a tink. Ooh, we need fire type. Don't have. Oh, if only you have fire fang. Go donut. We're gonna use Donut for the upcoming Sarpol battle. We don't have enough fighting type. Yes. And I believe Dark type also weak with Fairy type. Still don't know what Mold Breaker is. Ooh, I need to work up. I need to work up the dough. Not gonna be effective. The uh, dark type move is not that effective. And I don't think it's because of the steel type. But of course, our monkey is also gonna be uh, our main offense. 
main attacker. Are you gonna evolve too, Donut? I'm trying so hard, but I cannot find it. I just stare into the tall grass. Yeah, hey, don't. They're not in. Okay, you're not evolving. That's fine. It's not in the grass, kid. It's like in uh, signposts, tables, uh, bridges. Oh, that's it. That's the base. Or at least the entrance of the base. No, no, no. I'm good. Have we beaten enough? Ooh, 14 trainers. <laughs> Clear amulet. Uh, clear sparking ammo protects the holder from having its stat lowered by moves used against it or by other Pokemon's abilities. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. Okay, let's read a little bit about... So we definitely want to go here. Let's also check detail. Storming the Dark Crew Space, Giacomo, the Stegian Squash. Okay, so speaking of that, I realized that the one who told us about the Starfall Operation Starfall is Cassiopeia, right? And Cassiopeia is a constellation consisting five stars. One of the stars is Sagan. The other star is the Firestar crew. I bet all the all the crew uses the name of the star. Yeah, Shedder. Shedder stars also. And also uh the constellation is shaped like a W. It kinda look like how the team star is, right? Oh, I know it's like a th three, but what is three if not a W rotated? So my point is, I think Cassiopeia is part of the team star. Is this a trap? I'm not sure. Anyway, we're gonna have you, we're gonna have you, and we kinda have to use Stinketing. This is also a fairy type that knows fighting type move. I'm gonna bring you. And what else? What else? Really cake I'm not gonna use because it's psychic type and dark type is uh, super effective against them. Same with Rapska with our truffle maker. Maybe Flamigo, honestly. I'm gonna replace Marjorie. Amigo. Those are the three. So we kind of have to choose three Pokemon that we're going to use as the offensor. Oh wait! I just re remember, we didn't even read that. Uh, boss of the Team Stars Dark Crew. Since he only recently began training Dark-type Pokemon, it's not too much challenge in the battle. He used to be a straight, straight lace star student, but certain events set him on a different path. So it seems like uh, the Dark Crew base was meant to be the first uh, team star that we take down, not Mela, like the trailer, trailer so, uh, show. Well, I guess it's up to you, but like I said, you don't want to go to a challenge too overlevel. It'll be, it'll make, make it too easy. Oh. Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of the Team Star's bases. I take it this means you've decided to join my operation, right? And I also know you are part of the Team Star, Cassiopeia. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Also, this guy. Is this not Clavel? <laughs> this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? 
What? Who are you? You're obviously Clavel. The name is Clyde. <laughs> oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here, isn't that right, Cory Brad? We're not pals. <laughs> Shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware, I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to do uh, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the Operation Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? So that must be a nickname. Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. She is, or he is, they are Team Star founding member. I see, in that case, I won't press you further. Good, now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes, what would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to toss to oust these bosses from their role somehow? That's right, Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of those squads has its own base. We should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Ah, yes, I can see them over there. On the other side of those is the base proper. And somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their roles as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Kurgan. They're basically declarations of war. What? Now all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles, what happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer will be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Curry Brad. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what would you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with Team Star. That means I cannot operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. But now I would like you to monitor the bases and act as Curry Brad's support. You're a cautious one, alright? I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting up there. Well, go get them, Curry Brad. Director Clavel? I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, so Clive is obviously Clavel, right? Has to be. So with the Team Star bases, first you'll have to fight one of the crew members. I guess that's just a a buffer to for you to know whether you are strong enough or you need to train more. As the base of operation for Team Star's Dark Crew, you may know us as the second squad. Yep, and we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, amigo, we'll have to send you back. Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunch here, but are you that curry bread? <laughs> You know, that piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on the Team Star. Maybe I am. Maybe I am, he says. Cool as a cucumber. Honestly, not always the best policy, you know. Uh, you know what? Doesn't matter who you are, you're not getting through. Boss off or get thrashed by me in battle, kid. What will it be? I'll take you on. Yes, as he gets like you are the worst. 
backflip, prepare to get stomped into the dirt. You are challenged by Team Star Grunt. Stand up Murkrow. Ooh, you have flying type though. Maybe not the best. Uh, so it's 19, so I think we're pretty good. Ugh. Yeah. Go Donut. It's 90. Oh, okay, play rock it is. Why do such a sassy kid have to be so strong? Oh, we better save, huh? How the heck could I lose? Well, whatever. It's your problem now. Finish up here for me, would you, bud? Okay, thanks. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. She's new to the team, you know. Might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go into the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. We'll come at you full force if you set foot inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, amigo. Hasta la vista! I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Now, hold up in that base is Team Star's Dark Crew, the second squad. Their boss, Giacomo, is pretty much runs the whole of Team Star, and he also produced that wild soundtrack there himself. He's a sharp guy, even our declaration of war won't have ruffled him in the slightest. His plan is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts, then finish you off himself. No one, uh, no use trying to outthink strategic types like him. Bring him down with a head on attack. Just keep on defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this. Uh, phase of the operation. Time to wipe the second squad off the map. Oof. We should probably give you the clear amulet. And also swap you. Oh, I just realized this is an all-girls team except for this one, which is a family. It's all girls team. Let's go! Oh, there's an item there. I wanna get that first. Excess speed attack. Might use might be useful. Oh yeah, we need to save. Are you ready to challenge Team Star using the first three Pokemon in your party? Yes. Oh, that's the color. Is that the order? So first is dark, next is orange, which is like, I think is fire. Careful now, Cardi Red, Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it Star Barrage. To get through it, you'll need to use the R button to stand up multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. If your Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The grunts we'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp up there. Heads up gang, some jump up hit has Wander in thinking he can raid our base. Clearly, he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted guest, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might dishonor you with an appearance. Send your Pokemon out with the R button to try to defeat a certain number of Team Star's Pokemon before time runs out. When you're taking on the challenge of the Star Barrage, you can have 3 Pokemon out at the same time. You lose in the Star Barrage if all your Pokemon get two worn out to battle, or if time runs out. If one of your Pokemon can no longer battle, you can help it recover HP by using a vending machine. If you decide uh, you want to give up before time runs out, press the Y button. Oof. 
good. Oh, Zorua. Poison type not good for donut. Monkey bread, donut, bubble gum. Almost halfway. Ooh, Murkrow. Now, monkey bread. This will be two thirds. We heal up. Donut is kinda not hurt, but it's okay. We're two thirds now. Wait, where are my Pokemon? Where are my Pokemon? Go, where are you guys? Oh, Nimble? I mean, your evolution is Dark type, but not you. Four more. Oh, Ponyard. Perfect. Okay, good. Ooh, He's way above our level. We gotta get the boss. <laughs> boss of Team Stars Dark Crew, Giacomo. You've done a real number on us, Party Crasher, Curry Brad with it. I'm Giacomo, the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever, it's a vibe in the way. Nice to meet you all, and how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play you sick requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started! So he's the, 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 the DJ. Go Bubba Gum. You don't really think things through, do you? Declaring a war on Team Stars a real bad move. Okay, maybe we're a little bit over level. Oh, I don't even get to switch. Time to put up the tempo. This show ain't over yet. Oh, level 20. Go, monkey brat. Yes. Uh, let's rattle Use low kill. Go monkey bread. Yeah, look at that fist. Oh, it's like a bell. Like a boxing. Wicked pork. 
Oh, it's a dark type. It has to be steel and dark. Huh, how's that for an opening track? I'll spin you up. Good party cracker. That's why I'm not using Donut, because it's a whole type. I think you can steal, so I don't know if that's dark or... Yeah, you're heavy, so low kick should be enough. Oh, you're pretty strong too. Oh, look at the smoke coming out from the Starmobile. Well done, monkey bread. So we don't get experience? What the hell? Guess that's that. About a year and a half ago. Guess that. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? Oh, is this all the bosses? The big boss just wanted to take on some stuff, so we had a chat and settle on a few plans. A few plans? Like, for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. Operation Star? But this one's Operation Starfall. Do you know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figure we're gonna make some team rules like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice, you'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Gyoko? Uh, no thanks, way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be the president of the student council, but you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. We forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone, and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after like 5 minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male student's hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape and so forth. Your rules were vexation made men <laughs> My point exactly, so you all agree that I shouldn't be left anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Geokomo. You look, you look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck-up student council press isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by the Giacomo I'm looking at now? I'll follow that any day. That's what I. Okay, okay. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write out the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge, Rija. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it kind of looks like the badge, but it has a star. The coolest we've seen so far. I'll give you this choice, TM2. You earn it fair and square. Foul play. The user turns the target's strength against it. The higher the target's attack stat, the greater the damage this move inflicts. Ah, so this is how the party ends. But well, let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They are crazy strong, huh? You learned those trainer chops at the academy? Like what moves you should use and stuff? Sure did. Ah, okay. You like it at the academy? Having fun? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Whoa-ho, wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a quark swell to style that up for you? I'm just after a quick word, would you mind? Sure, I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. It seems all of you in Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why won't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? Was that what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, so we don't know if they'll be coming back. Pal, a close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like, how there's the top champion since the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form a team. We call them the Big Boss. Cassiopeia, maybe? And where is this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from them in, I don't know, must be a year and a half now? We thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teacher keep pressing us to call it quits, and then we get party crasher like you two. Maybe the Big Boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. The team star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you? Eh, <laughs> is the sky blue? Let me put in words to you eggheads that the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Oh, 
arms. The dark fire poison fairy? What's the red one fighting? Or is it Mela, the last one? Harry Brad, it's me. It seems Gyakumo no longer carries his star badge, the symbol of his status as the boss. He gave it to you, did he? I see. With his boss out of the picture, the second squad is pretty much done for. Oh, Gyakumo. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now, about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Ooh, nice! You earned 5,000 LP. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at the TM machine. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon battle cap abilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there, so much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be here. Will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Nice. Oh, Penny. Uh, hello, I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of the tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember? Of course. <laughs> Your hair is hard to forget. But um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study, you know. The treasure hunt? I'm good with machines and hacking Are you Cassiopeia? Or maybe you're Cassiopeia sister? So I'll be working behind the scenes. So here we go, your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. You should be able to make tons of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. Also, um, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. For the trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so um, good luck. Bye. Oh, that EV, <laughs> EV bag so cute. So can we fly here or what? Not exactly. Okay. Okay, this is the fifth. So, uh, we actually have to go back to the east now because the Kaskarafa Jin is pretty strong and the uh, Quaking Earth Titan is crazy strong and we we'll definitely not be able to take it down even with the overleveled Red Velvet. So we're gonna go back east now. I think we're ready to take down Mela. Then we take Iono. Do I still have? So this symbol here means it's an event raid. So is there still an EV? I thought it ended up last night. But anyway, we still have a little bit of time left. As per usual, when we are going to the other side, we're going to visit the school and take some classes. So yeah, we don't get level, so that's pretty good. But I don't get too over level now. And since the night crew member is fire type, we can still put Red Velvet on the box for a while. Good morning, Master Curry Brad. What class would you like to take? Uh, let's take languages. You would like languages with Mr. Salvatore? Yes. Class will begin soon. Don't be tardy. My dear students, how are you all today? Feeling good, I hope? Oh damn, Mr. Salvatore. Je m'appelle Salvatore. My name is Salvatore. Merci beaucoup, that is. Thank you very much for your attention here in my class. I'm so hurra or happy for this chance to re experience my younger days with you all. Hurra. You know what Salvatore means? It means savior. So just imagine I'm here to save you <laughs> from spooky new languages. Haha, <laughs> funny, no? 
That's right, my classes will teach you about various languages from different regions. You may say good morning or hello as a greeting, but people from elsewhere may say bonjour or salut. I heard there's even a popular streamer out there who smashes several languages together and says hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. There are so many regions out there in our world, and each can have their own unique languages. Gracias, merci, xie arigato, danke. These all have the same meaning. Can you get what it is? Thank you. Wow, curry bread was it? Bravo, that is correct. And speaking up is important in language learning too. Gracias, merci, xie xie. These words all mean thank you. I guess some of you probably knew at least one of those. Despite meaning the same thing, their lengths and sounds are all different. Isn't that interesting? And now, a propos of nothing, let me give you all one of my wise words of advice. When you travel abroad, you should try to speak the local language as much as you can, even if you cannot speak it very well. I'm sure your willingness to try will make the people you meet very happy. Honestly, from my experience, just being able to say hello, delicious, and thank you in a local language will get you pretty far. For everything else, just pretend you're Mr. Mom and just are away. Oh, that's, there's that pasky bell. I guess that's all the time we have for today. So, adios. Matane. A la prokain. See you later, everyone. You can let take language too. It's pretty funny. Good morning, Master Curry Pat. What class would you like to take? Languages too. Do you like languages with Mr. Salvatore? Yes. Class will begin soon, don't be tardy. My dear friends, how are you all today? Feeling absolutely fantastic, I hope? It's time for Salvatore's language lesson. A debut prep. Are you ready, everyone? You can answer me with yes or oui. Oui. C'est super. C'est super. In our last class, I believe I taught you all how to say thank you in other languages, right? In La Cour de Jodohi, today's class, we will learn about a certain word sure to make people happy when you use it in your travels abroad. What word you ask? Well, you'll have to guess. Delicia, how chi? Buono. Can you tell me what this word means? Delicious. Wow, correct. That's super. I knew I could count on you, curry bread. Delicious, how chi? Buono. All these words mean delicious. Using the local word for delicious at markets or restaurants is sure to get a big soiree, a smile, that is, from whoever you're talking to. Is that soiree or so so really? Uh, yeah. It'll make communication go more smoothly, I guarantee it. People love it when someone says the cuisine of their homeland is delicious. Who wouldn't be Peru happy to receive such a compliment? Oh, you even have Raichu tail bats. You love Raichu, aren't you? And now, apropos of nothing, let me give you all one of my wise words of advice. The first step to smooth communication is to compliment the person you're talking to. After all, it's not very likely that a compliment would be would put someone in a bad mood. This doesn't only apply to people in other regions either, it's the same for all of you too. You can put this tip to use with your classmates. How about you all try complimenting each other after class? I bet it will make for an ambience plus sympathetic, a more friendly atmosphere. That's all for today. See you all in Alcocaine Cool next lesson. That is, adios, matane! Okay, we're gonna uh, put the other class for next episode. So yeah, I think that is it for this episode. We finally managed to get the first uh, squad, defeat the first squad boss with the Starfall Operation. On the next episode, we're gonna take the second squad boss, hopefully, Mela of the Fire Crew. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Until next time, bye.